All right, I'm on hole number four of the Ventura Open. I'm in Monday's practice, maybe qualifying round of the Ricky Division. Let's go check out hole number four. I think hole number four, I'm undecided on how I'm going to play it. Hole number four. What's different on hole number four than in the past is the Grizzly. Because I have a long iron that has that's super accurate. It has great ball guide. And so taking the white line doesn't seem nearly as bad. And there is another line. There's actually two other lines that they don't have on here. And there is a line that goes from the tee box over to here and then comes up. And then there's another line that they don't have on here, which goes from the tee box straight to the green. If I can get my line straight to the green and you backspin it on. And you can go look at this in the last two times it's been in a tournament, which is probably the Voyager tournament, maybe the gridiron, gridiron of football fever, but one of those two tournaments, you can go look at those two tournaments and I do the backspin shot on there with the Saturn. And I think I've made hole in ones on this hole every tournament. But I've been doing that little rough bump, or not rough bump, but the little bump over in the front, and it's not that bad of a shot. But I want to try the, I'm going to try the, I'm going to try the backspin shot. There's a spot up here. I have to go back. I'm going to take this blind, but you have to go back and watch the video. Let's see what I have here. When I get this Grim Reaper to level six, it gets 100% backspin. And I think it gets better ball guide than my Saturn. I usually take this with my Saturn. But the Grim Reaper would be a little bit better because it hits a little bit farther forward and there's, and we always get headwind here. And so it's always an issue. You need to bring, I usually bring a Kingmaker. I'm gonna try the backspin shot. I'll try the backspin shot just to show you what it looks like. If I have enough wind to pull it out, if I don't have enough wind to pull it out, I'm going to do the little bounce over. In which case, I'll I'll switch clubs to a grizzly. Let's make sure I have a grizzly. I know I have a grizzly in at least the other bag. Yes. Only having two bags, you better check. That's the one thing about these tournaments that I wish that they would change. It's one of those things about watch out what you wish for. But it would be nice. And it would make people it would make people think more about their club. If they had to Hey, there's a spot right back here, and I can't remember exactly where it is. Let's start off about right there. It's max club. It's 1.9 per ring. So there's, let's say two, there's three. A little. Hitting it perfect. <laughs> Almost. Almost. Close. <laughs> With that headwind, it, it cuts it down right there. So I'll, from where I set it up, I need to set it up just a little teeny bit to the right. And I was like splitting that one section in half and I probably could have split it in three quarter in quarters. If I was over another quarter, because that wind's laying it down. Anytime you're doing backspin like that, it's it seriously lays it down. So I think in the past, I've actually gone even further back where I went like one more back and tried to get the trajectory because when it hits behind it, it'll actually suck it in an angle and come back towards the cup. I'll have to take that shot a few times in order to get the, the stuff worked out. I like the little shot. It seems like it's pretty fun hitting the shot from the bottom, like my opponent did, except when you do that. <laughs> I 
I've taken that shot a bunch of times today, just in the, I played my 99 count just in shootouts because I'm not really playing that way just to give it a, a look. And in most of the shootouts, I've been getting tailwind, but here we're getting headwind and headwind is going to affect that a lot different. I'm going to have to go back myself and watch those videos on these holes to see what kind of a wind adjustment I was doing. If I was just doing a standard wind adjustment, it was all about where I was placing it. Because you're doing it totally blind, so you're just placing, you've got to, you got to mark a spot out here. And then you got to work that spot. If you're too far to the left of the cap, then you got to move your spot to the right. And there is a spot out there. I'd start with the Voyager Tournament. So I think that's the newer of the ones that were on there. I'm not sure which hole this is. Nice shot. Nice shot. They are like, yeah, <laughs> crowd goes wild. <coughs> it's a draw. So hole number four, I don't know. I, I'm, all right, so I'm gonna take a Saturn. <laughs> A kingmaker doing a backspin shot. And a forfeit. Still not sure. Still not quite sure that's how I want to go out this week, but I've been very successful with that shot. I've had luck with it. Whereas like any of the others, but that little rough bump in the front, what's changed on the on the bump in the front is this right here. So if we look at the long iron range, we've got 3.6 ball guide with a maxed out backbone. That's our accurate club. 3.9 with a maxed out Saturn. But since they've buffed the Grizzly, it's got 4.4. And the difference between 3.9 and 4.4 is like night and day. Because you can actually see the tail all the way at the end where it flattens out on the green. And... So some of those shots where you're trying to figure out exact distance, it's much easier to do that when you got a 4.4 ball guide. And this is a new addition to the bag since that hole was in a tournament. And so that little rough bump in the front is not nearly as scary as it used to be because you can actually see where you're supposed to be. Before it was just guess on whether, you know, like how much you'd put on it. So I'm kind of torn on whether I want to come at it through the bump because I think that little rough that bump in the front it's just a matter of getting the wind worked out and if you get the wind adjustment you hit a perfect bam it's in the hole whereas the backspin shot even if you hit it perfect there's no guarantee it's just a backspin shot it's a good backspin shot but backspin shots are always a little inconsistent i think in my upper level account i'm going to try the grizzly shot from the bottom because i am going to practice in my lower level in my in my 77 account because i'm not going to qualify till tomorrow so i will practice it tomorrow today all right what hole was that is that hole number four? I think it was. Hole number four. Venture open. Thanks for watching.